In this MetaMask tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect MetaMask to Matic or Polygon network. So you can send funds to your MetaMask wallet and make transactions with much lower fees compared to other blockchains. I will then show you how to connect your MetaMask to popular DeFi apps like Aave and QuickSwap to swap and earn other tokens there. And as a bonus, towards the end of this video, I will show you how to earn some passive income using your crypto assets. So make sure to stick with me to the end. But for now, let's get started. Firstly, you will need to have the MetaMask extension installed. And if you haven't done that yet, then you can go to metamask.io and then click on download now and follow the steps. But if you need more information on how to set up your MetaMask account properly, and I have a step-by-step -step tutorial guide on MetaMask, which I'll link in the description below for you. So once our MetaMask is set up, we can click on the icon here, then click on this three dot and click on expand view. This will now bring up our MetaMask dashboard. And before we proceed, an important thing for you to note is that you don't need to create a whole new MetaMask wallet in order to connect your current MetaMask wallet to the Matic or Polygon chain. You can use the existing wallet that you have here and then have the same address, but on the Matic chain is very much possible. But if you still wanna have a different address to manage each different chain separately, then that's possible too. You just have to go and click on create new account or you can go and import another account if you've already made one before. So it's up to you which method you wanna go for. But one important thing I definitely recommend you do, which I do for myself, is that for all the transactions which I make of over around $1,000, I use my hardware wallet. And you can connect that to MetaMask by going to connect hardware wallet and the supported wallets are the Ledger and Trezor wallet. Both of them are great. I have them both and I've done a review on both of them. So I suggest you pick one up for yourself and I'll leave links for the video review and the products in the description as well to help you out. So first of all, from the dashboard, there are two ways of adding your Matic or Polygon network to your MetaMask account. And the first method is to click here and click on custom RPC and it will come up with a lot of empty boxes here which you'll need to add in. And you can go to this link here, which is docs.matic.network, which is from their official website. And this will show you what needs to be filled in those boxes. You can see here, this is exactly what's required. So I'm gonna copy them one by one and fill that in now. And once that is done, and you've made sure that everything is correct, you can click on save. And you can see here, our Matic mainnet has been created successfully. So now I'm gonna show you the second method, which is the easier method. So I go back to the Ethereum chain, and delete my Matic chain that I just added. And now you can go to a site called chainlist.org, which is an aggregation of all the available chains which can be connected to your MetaMask account. So from the search network, I can type in Matic and you can see here the Matic mainnet. You can click on add to MetaMask and it will pop up a window which shows these values, which is exactly the same information as a Matic network website that I showed you previously. So if you're happy with that, you can click on approve and then click on switch network. And now if we go back to our Matic dashboard, you can see here our Matic mainnet has been added again. Using chainlist.org is a much easier and simpler method as it prevents you from making any mistakes from copying and pasting your text. So are you finding these tips helpful so far? If yes, you can thank me by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want more of these videos in the future. The next thing you have to note is that even though these wallet addresses are exactly the same between the Matic network and Ethereum network, your tokens are not interchangeable. So for example, if you had some tokens on the Ethereum network, once you switch to the Matic network, you would not have any tokens on that address. So now the next step to confirm that we added the right value for this Matic mainnet is to send some token to this wallet. Most people on YouTube only show you this one way, which is to convert your Ethereum token into the Matic network. But that's not useful for a lot of people who are trying to save on fees. Currently, Ethereum can cost you as much as 20, 30, or even 40, 50 dollars on transfer fees. So you may not want to pay this. And there are two alternative options, which I'll show you after this first method. So the first method is a standard method through the Matic network. If you go to their homepage, which is polygon.technology, then we want to go to use Polygon and then click on Polygon Bridge. Now we want to click on MetaMask and connect our account, sign this, and now we're allowed access into Polygon's wallet. And this is a direct bridge from the Ethereum network into Polygon itself. And you can transfer your main tokens over like Ethereum, USDC, or even Matic. And all you would do is enter in your amount and then click on transfer. This method is the best for someone who's transferring a lot of funds over 
as it will make your high Ethereum gas fees worth your while. But if you're someone who just wants to transfer a few thousand dollars or less, then these next two methods will suit you much better. So this second method is suitable for you if you want to transfer stable coins like USDC, USDT or DAI. And that is through Xpollinate. We can come to here, click on connect, click MetaMask, choose our account and click on next and click connect. And this is a cross chain bridge and the main method that I personally use to transfer my stable coins over between Ethereum, Binance and Matic. So if we scroll down to the bottom, you can see currently how much supply of each coin is on these different networks. So right now there's enough on Binance and on Matic to transfer any of these three stable coins. So this method requires you to start off on Binance as opposed to starting off on Ethereum. So that's how we're going to cut down our transaction fees. So from our dashboard, we need to go to our Binance Smart Chain to start with. And you can see $4 of USDC to test out here. But if you don't have any BNB or other tokens here in your MetaMask wallet, then you need to send those tokens here from your Binance account first. But I've already done that, so I'm going to go to the next step. So from Xpollinate, you need to make sure that you have this correct Binance Smart Chain selected and the right address. And once you have that, you can click here and select Binance Smart Chain and we want to transfer it to Matic so that is the correct one and I don't have DAI and in this case I have USDC so that's correct now it's showing that I'm going to transfer some USDC from Binance Smart Chain to Matic Mainnet now we can go to swap and we need to sign the contract here and now you can select the amount that you want you can click on max or in this case I'm just going to do one dollar and you can see here their fees are so small it's only 0.05 of a percent so even if I want to transfer $10,000, it's only going to be $5 for the fees, which is still cheaper than transferring from Ethereum. So this is a very good choice and that's why I choose this method. Now if you're happy with the amount, you can click on swap and we have to pay the gas fee on our Binance Smart Chain. Click on confirm. And this should only be about 10 cents, which is nothing as well when compared to Ethereum. And now give it a minute or so for your transaction to go through. And that's it, success. Our USDC should have arrived in our Matic wallet. And let's go and check that now by going back to our MetaMask and changing to the Matic mainnet. Click on add token and make sure to use the right contract address. Instead of pasting this in, a quick tip for you is to go to either CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap, type in USDC here, get the coin and then go to more and then select your chain which is now Polygon and then click on this MetaMask button here and it will automatically add this token to your MetaMask account. Click on add token, go to assets. So we can see that our transaction has worked and we have USDC in our account now. So that is another unique tip for you. Now you may be thinking there's a problem because you have zero Matic here. So you cannot make any transfers as you need to have some Matic to burn gas. So the solution with this second method is to go to matic.supply where you can get some free Matic to use as gas. So you simply click on connect, select MetaMask, connect your right address, click next and connect again and make sure this is a right address and then just select I am human, fill out the capture, verify that and then click on receive. Transaction completed. And if we click on this transaction, it will bring up this page and it will show you that you just received some funds. And if you want to confirm that, we can go back to our MetaMask wallet and you can see here we just received 0.0005 Matic. So that should be enough to get you started. Now for the third method, which I've also used, is to use gate.io or ascendex.com. And I'll leave links for both these exchanges in the description below. When we choose Matic, you can select the ERC20, which is the Ethereum network, or you can send it to the Matic network if you want to. So this is also very easy to do. You just put in the address you want and the amount of Matic you want to send. This can be <laughs> as much as you want. They said daily limit is 56,000 Matic. And then you just click on confirm. And just to show you, here's a transaction that I've done and I tested and it worked out no problem. And once you've sent your Matic over through the Matic network to your MetaMask wallet, then you can swap that Matic for a different token that you want. And same can be done on gate.io. You can see here the Matic chain can be selected. So even though that took a bit more time, I wanted to show you all three methods so you have the power to choose which one is best for you. So now that your funds have arrived into your MetaMask account, you can go ahead and use a decentralized exchange to swap your tokens or stake your token and earn some passive income. And one of the biggest and more trusted one on the Matic network is QuickSwap. So from QuickSwap, once again, we need to click on MetaMask, 
choose the correct account and make sure that we're on the Matic mainnet, then you can refresh the page and you should be automatically connected. But if you're not, then you can click here and follow the steps to get connected. And once you're connected, you can see here, I have a balance of my Matic and I can convert it to whatever I want. So for example, if I want Aave, I can click on that and select the amount that I want and it will show me how many Aves I can buy for this amount of Matic. If I'm happy to proceed, then I just click on swap here. Click confirm swap and then confirm the gas fees if I'm happy with everything. And I just wanna to highlight to you how small this gas fee is. It's less than one cent compared to Ethereum's 20, 30 or $40 transaction. This is amazing and this is the value of the Matic network. So I won't make that transaction for now. Here's a quick question for you. What is your favorite decentralized exchange on the Matic or Polygon network? Is it QuickSwap, one inch or something else? Let me know in the comments section below. And the next thing I wanna show you is how to make some passive income by staking your tokens. And we can go to rewards. These are all the different token pairs that you can add liquidity to. For example, if I have Ethereum and Matic and I'm willing to put up collateral of 50% each of those two tokens, then I can earn a reward of up to 84.85% per year. This is a really good way to earn some extra crypto on the assets that you already own. You do have to be careful of impermanent loss though, but I won't go through that in this video as it's a bit more complicated. But I still wanted to show you quickly the potential that you have on earning extra income with these different cryptocurrencies on the Matic network. If you're looking for more variety and want to stake your other assets like Bitcoin, Ethereum or other altcoins as well, then it is a good idea to take advantage of these platforms which I'm about to show you here. Plus, you can get a free sign up bonus worth $375. So I think it's a no-brainer here. You simply just have to go to the links in the description below, sign up for these platforms and start staking your crypto to earn your standard APY and the free bonus. You can see here through my links, BlockFi will give you a $250 bonus when you stake your crypto with them. And Celsius Network is gonna be a $50 bonus. Crypto.com is also not bad at $25. Same thing with Leden at $25. And lastly, Voyager is gonna be $25 as well. My favorites, which I use for the long term, are BlockFi, Celsius Network, and Crypto.com. But Leden and Voyager are still worthwhile signing up and getting their bonus. If you want more information and more ways to earn passive income through your cryptocurrency asset, then I strongly recommend you go to this next video here. Or if you need more help on MetaMask and want to know how to make transfers to other wallets and connect to other dApps, or connect to other blockchains through MetaMask, then go to this playlist here where you'll find the right video. So check it out and I'll see you over the next tutorial.